Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be building a CSX um, AC4400CW. And um, so this is a CSX locomotive. And um, so actually Crafty Fox has cool CSX engines and um, he has most of them. But there's still some he doesn't have like the one I did a few days ago, like probably a week now actually, C4-8, and far over in the distance, I did a C6 passenger engine, the, I forget what it is, but I'll leave, well, I'm not sure if I'll leave a link to it in the description, I'll probably forget, but, well, I won't forget, but, you know, you'll see it on my channel if you look at it, but anyway, so yeah, let's get started, so, get some stone brick stairs oh and by the way it kind of curves in a little earlier like this it doesn't like go all the way unlike the rest of my engines for this one it kind of curves in a little shorter like I said um gray concrete and you know what that's all we need but first I gotta build the track let me just get the coordinates so we can get back here at the same spot just kidding, nah. I won't even be in the same direction. Alright, be right. Alright, I'm back. So, uh, let's build in the little sofa shape again. And add backwards stone brick stairs with five gray concrete above. And let's make the middle part 34 blocks long. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And then build a 2 by 3 on the back part with one on the top corners with upside down stone brick stairs in the bottom corners and then a row behind it let's add a not a row behind actually add just two gray concrete and then the back row will be a two by five of, of it for the secondary wall the secondary wall oops I misplaced that and uh, add oak slab uh, let me just get out in my chair because I'm not comfy in my chair. It's harder to build. So add the little stair wall with yellow oak slab. Um, and then make the middle part three blocks wide with the gray concrete, just like this. And then we'll build the wheels, and then we'll build the part, like that little bottom tank there. Probably filled up with like gas or electrics or something. Um, so I came with this new wheel design. Since it's really square, I decided to like do this weird wheel design where I had like, so I had like two gray concrete, leave a block, add two, leave a block, add another two, and do the same thing the other side as well. And then uh, add hoppers on the outsides of all the corners. This is like Pretty similar to the other wheel design with the hoppers, but it's a little different. It's pretty similar, but it's a little different. Then I had like a row of five uh, stone brick slabs, and uh, do that on the outsides here and in between them, and do that on the other side as well, and in between. like this and 
an adder. Ten of these and like alright, so add like a three block wide row. Make sure it's ten blocks long and connect it to these low upper stone brick slab levels. And then add upside down stone brick stairs. Like that. Wait, I gotta check my notifications again. Alright, it was just Cortana saying it won't bother me while I was gaming, which is pretty good. Since I don't want notifications being annoying and popping up while I'm recording. Anyway, make sure there's upside down stairs like this on both sides. And on the right side, uh, make sure it's all gray concrete. And make sure it goes across like this. <coughs> and on the front, add three gray concrete. And on the back, add two. With two stone brick stairs and an oak slab in the middle. And then add and follow some oak slabs above like this. And then uh, add some, uh, let's get some triple wire herps, some stone buttons, and some stone brick slab. And add a stone brick slab with two triple wire herps on the sides. And then two stone buttons like that. Sorry, I'm just messing around with the controls. I don't need to though. I don't know why I did it. Um, so anyway, I had two triple hooks on the sides. Oh, by the way, sometimes I'm messing around with the controls. I don't know why I do it. It's just so weird and embarrassing once I notice what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on with me. But anyway, let's add some stone brick slab there like that with some stone buttons on the sides and one underneath the coupling like that. And then uh, get some oak fence, some yellow carpet. What was that sound? I'm turning off my volume. That was very, uh... That was very sketchy. Um, anyway, I had two oak fences on the fronts and the backs. And... Alright, uh, be right back, guys. Uh, it, it just happened again. All right, so I don't know what I still don't know what's causing. Yeah, I think it's just the cords going together, but I think I fixed it. So uh, add two carpet. Oh, by the way, we can turn on our volume again because it wasn't the game. Um, so add a uh, two yellow carpet above with item frames on the sides, and then some white stained glass blocks. And then, uh, let's get some yellow terracotta and some lapis lazuli block. And add a five yellow terracotta. And then add a lapis lazuli in the middle with a yellow terracotta on top. And then behind it, add a, a row of lapis lazuli block. And then... Let's get some blue carpet, some stone brick stairs, some oak stairs, some birch signs, some white stained glass blocks, some item frames, and some oak buttons. I'll let you guys get that, and I'll say it again. So, we need yellow terracotta, lapis lazuli block, blue carpet, stone brick stairs, oak stairs, birch signs, white stained glass blocks, item frames, and oak buttons. 
Here's your moment to get it. Feel free to pause. Alright. So, um, add an ochre button up, not there, but there, on both sides, on all four corners, like that. As fine round controls again. Uh, add two yellow terracotta on both sides. My cat's here beside my computer. So cute. But anyway, add a oak stairs on the sides like that. With some stone brick stairs on the sides like that. And then add blue carpet above the yellow terracottas and above all this part. And then add a add a two by two by I don't know how long to make it. It's gonna be a two by three, a two by six. So we'll add a two by six a lapis lazuli block. That sound is my cat trying to get up to her little thing. I think she gave up. Alright, let's not get carried away. I mean, away. I'm um, at another 2x6 on the other side as well. And on the front here, add an iron frame with a white stained glass block in it. And then add your signs. I think I did like 172, or was it? Alright, it was 152. 152, but not on the top. I wrote. It's not 152D. 152, like that. Oh, this train took a while to make too because um, it um, there's not too many images of it on Google, so please enjoy the train because um, there was hardly any Google images. I'm um, get some ladders, some block of quartz, and some jungle buttons, and add some block of quartz here add a block add four ladders and on top of these two add jungle buttons for like little white things and on one side of the top or the bottom there's a line of red and up here is the American flag these might be another some more tiny American flags but I'm not going to worry about it Um, add a row of lapis lazuli block and fill these two parts here with yellow terracotta like the numbers in the lightning bolt thing here and uh, add a row of lapis lazuli block to make it continue around here and then add a row behind here with two here and then one here like that and also add like a row here like that this is just to prevent from seeing the inside of the engine because it's really dark in there and I don't want to have anything to do with that because it's creepy So, um, anyway, add a, let's get some black stained glass block and black stained glass pane. And add a two black stained glass blocks on the sides here with the glass panes above the number. And then get some quartz stairs, some stone brick stairs, and some white carpet. And block of quartz. And add a two lapis. I mean, three lapis lazuli blocks on top here with stone brick stairs on the sides. And then above, I add white carpet just to make it look white because the top of that is white. Oh, by the way, above um, here and here, we're going to add stone buttons for like the little, uh, little handlebars or windshielders, windshield wipers, or whatever they are above. They're not like for the numbers or anything. I'd be using birch buttons if it was. 
or black if it was black in the front, which is dark oak. For like the really dark ones are white, but for like really light ones like these, are, uh, never mind. Sometimes they use black, sometimes they use white. It's confusing and we don't need to explain it because it has nothing to do with the train. I'm at a, a 3 by 4 of block of quartz above and then quartz stairs on the sides. I'm behind here, add a row, then add this weird T-shape, like this. <laughs> Imagine if there's a bunch of continued T-shapes together. That'd be so funny. Like this. A bunch of continued T shapes that'd be hilarious. But that's not a part of the train, so get rid of it if you did build it. I hope you didn't because then you have to destroy it. Um anyway, add one sides here like this. And uh, add bedrock and all these gaps here. And then above it will be some blue carpet just to make it look all blue. Because above the cab it's white and for the rest it's blue. Because this is a blue train. I'm blue, dabba, diva, dabba. If you know that song, good job. So this train's pretty blue. So I guess it can sing it about itself all at once. Although trains can't talk unless you make like talking trains things on like Microsoft Paint or something. Uh, let me get comfy in my chair again. Uh, let's get some lapis lazuli block and some birch button. And add a 3x4 of blue lapis lazuli with another two in the bottom. And then leave a block and add one. And on this little block here, add a birch button. And to the two blocks beside here, add some more birch, birch buttons. And on this side, we're going to add a row underneath. And underneath all the bedrocks, add some birch buttons like this. Oh, and beside the logo here, add another jungle button for like the the logo there, the US flag, and add like five here like this with stone buttons on these sides. And uh what next? Uh continue all this all the way down. And we're gonna build the logo once we get this part done. So I'll add a yellow terracotta and add some down here and up here with a line here and add an X shape. This is for like CSX or something. And do that on this side as well. And make this an X. And then fill in the rest with the lapis lazuli block. And uh, don't fill in the block here unless you want to. You can if you want, just to make it a little more fancy, you know. But if you were in survival, you honestly wouldn't to save lots of time. And uh, add a row of blue right here, like this. And then uh, after that row, we're gonna have a bunch of vents all together. 
So we're gonna have like two bedrocks, two Kisha woods, two bedrocks, two Kisha woods, two bedrocks, two Kisha woods, two bedrocks, two lapis lazuli blocks, and then two yellow terracottas. And copy the same thing on the other side as well because you want to. Except there won't be, there will be. I mean, one tiny little change. And that will be to get some pistons and uh, destroy this block and replace it with a sideways piston. And above the piston, add a birch button like this. So add a row of lapis on top. And above here, add a birch button. And on this side, we're going to get some jungle buttons. And lapis lazuli, I guess. And I add two right here. Like this. And then leave two blocks and add a birch button. Like this. And then, um, what's next? You know what, let's add another row of lapis over here. And do that on the other side as well. And then add two yellow terracotta in here. Add a yellow terracotta, a lapis lazuli block. Then add two and destroy this one. So there's one up there because there's going to be a regular facing oak stair here, which we're actually going to add. And there's a stone brick slab above as well. So add an oak stair here. And then above will be an oak. Not an oak, a stone brick slab. And then get some stone brick stairs, stone brick slab, and lapis lazuli block. And add a row of stone brick stairs. And then make an O shape with the uh, stone brick slab. And then add another O shape like this. And then this part will, go, will be lapis lazuli block going all the way to there with some blue carpet above and in between here add a lapis lazuli block and on top of here add a light gray concrete like this then add a stone brick stairs on these sides here and then the middle is going to be like Nether brick stairs and make sure you count like seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And do that on this side as well. And then underneath, we're gonna add a, a two by two stone brick slab like this on both sides. And then make sure there's like Five nether brick stairs upside upside down, I mean not upside down, with stone brick slab above. This train was very hard to make and so is that ST ST forty dash two I mean of the uh, you know the chassis system train we built yesterday, the ST forty dash two. That was really hard to make, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't watched it already, please go check it out because it took a while to do. And you know, I was gonna add blue carpet around there, but you know what? Let's keep the details you already have. They look good. Um, let's get some dark oak fence gate in front of here, add it. And then let's get the blue door banner, which I think you guys know how to make. And if you don't know how to make it, I'm getting tired of making it, so you can go check another one of my videos to do it because I'm getting I'm getting tired of it. Well, alright, I'll do it. I'm just kidding, I'll do it because I guess why not? Because some people might be new here. Most people probably are, but there are definitely there's definitely people who aren't. I promise you that. I uh, wasn't at 142. 
And then uh, add the same number you added on the front one. I did 152, but you can look up it now. You'll probably find some like right behind it. Uh, Crafty Fox already did that train, so I'm not going to do it too. Even though he built it a while ago, like two years ago, he did it. And um, it looks like something that he couldn't accomplish now, but. And it'd probably look better, but. Uh, I don't know. You can use that if you want. Um, but I'm gonna do change that he hasn't done. Well, G evolution I'll redo, but the rest in math. Get some. Uh, you know what? Let's just uh, let's work on this train because we need to. And uh, all I think we need left is just the door banner and the railing, and then we're pretty much done it looks like to me so uh, let me uh... oh it's got a loom, a black banner and two blue dye and uh... add the border and then the halfway up like this, it's a blue perfess inverted. So add that and uh, add it right here and here. And here it actually holds up the thing so we no don't need string. Especially since we're adding a great carpet. Um, let's actually get another book fence and blue carpet. And don't forget the string. The. What else? The. Stone brick stair, stone brick stairs like that. Um, and um, not only that, but uh, let's get some oak fence as well for a quick little detail I forgot, and a yellow carpet. And we'll do that after we do this part. So I add it here and here the fence and then gray carpet which only holds it up but uh just to make it look gray here and then add blue carpet around the rest and then oh by the way get rid of the loom and replace it with black carpet and uh, add the black carpet there with the stone brick stairs above playing around controls again don't know why I do it uh still add a uh, another brick fence there leave, and add it there as well leave a block add one and keep doing it till we get to here it should done on this yellow block and then add an oak fence with yellow carpet above and do the same thing the other side as well and the rest is like another brick fence and it should stop here and add some above these two stone buttons as well and string in between the rest with some blue carpet going across all the way till we get to this fence. Make that a stone brick stairs. And then add blue carpet. Um and add string in between all this. Um if you haven't seen my video with my future builds um it has all the future builds um it said the first train was c6 geac 4400 cw well and i said that i was doing it the same day well it's still the same day it was uploaded like earlier a few hours ago um at like 2 p.m but um it's probably gonna be po it's gonna take half an hour so it'll probably be posted like Two and a half, half, or even two minutes and thirty second minute, thirty seconds, two hours and thirty minutes, or three hours after it was posted. And once you finish the railing like this, uh, I think that's it for this train. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in my next video, which will be tomorrow, and that will be a Norfolk Southern SD seventy ACE. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys really enjoyed it, leave a like and 
subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my videos. And if you if you can't describe it of how good it is, just comment. Mm, nah. But for real, if you really, really enjoyed it, um, and you want to say something about it, leave a comment as well. I'll probably always read them since they always show up in my notifications, so that's good. And I'm on YouTube a lot, so I'll probably see it. Like the notification pop up. Or if I'm even on the computer at all, it might pop up in my corner too. Because that happens whenever someone comments or replies to my comments on videos. Or even hearts them or something. And yes, I've got comments hearted by the owner of the video before, which is pretty nice. I'll probably tell you who later in my channel future, but I won't right now because we don't need to. Oh, this is one of my future trains there. Providence and Worcester. And this is what it looks like. I can't wait to do the video for it. Um, and I'm saving it for a while. It's probably going to be like the 7th or 8th train later because... Well, it's gonna, it might need some more updates on it, so that's why. And it has a lot of detail, you can already tell. So, this might be a difficult train, too, but I'm just doing it for you guys since you want it so badly. Well, not just that, but I just do the tutorial so that you guys have trains to build in Minecraft, you know. And there's another reason, but something I won't share until the future of my channel as well. It probably won't be way too long though. I'll probably do like a news video of secrets about my channel or something like that. I don't want to share for a while, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. There's no more videos today. Um, I'm gonna do one video a day. I only did that other video because. You know, I just wanted to do it, but it shouldn't count as my one video a day, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm just getting my thumbnail first, though. Alright. Bye.